association and causation. Let's take a look at these two graphs. In the first graph, we have acres burned versus number of fires. So on the x-axis, we have the number of fires that were uh, burning in, in one summer, perhaps, in a, a certain area, and the acres burned. And the, there is an association. We can see this, this general trend upward of these dots, where each uh, dot represents a a specific area and in one area there were 70 fires and, and uh, 4.2 acres burned for example for this dot and there's a, a definite association and the causation is probably a causation it makes very much sense that uh, the more fires you have the more acres are burned so check that uh, there is a causation there um, on the next one, the next one is a little bit trickier. Well, it's turned around. Intensity of the fire versus the number of firefighters. We've got the number of firefighters on the, um, on the x-axis and the intensity of a fire on the y-axis. So we go through here and we see uh, when there's 10 firefighters at a particular fire, the intensity was only 2. And when there were 20 firefighters, the intensity was 4. And again, we see this definite trend upwards in this case. And we say, okay, there is a, an association. But a causation? Well, the way it's presented, certainly the number of firefighters is not causing the intensity of the fire to go up. So you don't add firefighters to... Uh, to an area and and therefore the, the fire gets hotter. Now, there probably is a causation in the other direction. That is, the, the, the hotter the fire is, the, the more uh, firefighters will show up. But the way it's presented, usually we see this x-axis as an independent variable. Uh, it looks like we're trying to say the more firefighters you have, the hotter the intensity of the fire. So, the, the firefighters are not causing the, the fire to get hotter. We hope not. So that's that's an example of two that are uh, one you could see that's probably a good causation. And uh, the other one, although it's uh, associated, the, the causation is perhaps backwards. There's another example that I can give you and where there is definitely an association but no causation. So Let's talk about global temperatures and the plague. Now, so over time, we have a more or less plague, depending on the year. There's less plague now than there was uh, earlier. Now, if you believe that the temperatures are rising, then the temperature back when the plague was high when the plague was high, we're going in this direction, then and the, the temperatures were low. That is, back back in the day when uh, when we had more plague, the temperatures were lower. But now we have less plague in the world, but the temperatures are higher. Now this is, of course, de depending on what whose report you believe. But let's just go with this. Let's let's believe that the temperatures are are generally higher, uh, and we've got these points like this so at various levels of, of amount of plague so there's de a definite causation here we can say and I'm sorry there's a definite association here definite trend but absolutely absolutely no causation in either direction I would not venture to say that uh, higher temperatures are giving us less plague and I'm not going to say that that uh, more plague lowers the temperature. So, so there are three different examples of association and causation.